everyone. Welcome to my video. I am kind of continuing some of the things I showed on my live last Saturday. And we will get started here in just a second. What I've got today is marked pieces, branded pieces, um, jewelry maker marks, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, these are some of my nice pieces. And I've gotten these all from different places, some jewelry, jewelry antique stores, a couple of the pieces I actually got from ThreadUp, and a couple of the pieces I got from a huge lot of Shop Goodwill, and I've bought some things from people that I know that I've met on our um, jewelry videos and some of the lives and some of the people that I've subscribed to. So let's get started. Okay, the first piece that I have, it is, there's a number on these. The number here is 915-3, and I had tagged these earlier in the year just to keep track of them. Okay, it's a pair of gold brush satin, just beautiful earrings, and they are pierced. These are Monet. So, my clasp, and it says so around the post. Okay, and I paired these <coughs> with this beautiful necklace. They match so well. This is one of the probably the nicest. Feeling satiny beaded necklace I have ever seen. This has the chain inside of it. If you can see it. It is not very heavy, but it is <coughs> substantial. This is a crown trafari. And it is marked here. I don't know if you can see that. And on this side, you have the mark of the crown trafari here. A little mark. And this is, looks like it is brand new. Sounds great. And it is a checker style. Probably, I would say 14, <clears throat> 15 inches. I'll measure it for you here. It would be approximately, let's see, let's take this one. It would be with extender. We're talking, yeah, between 14 and 15 inches, so that would go up higher on your neck. But like I said, it is lightweight. The beads feel fabulous. They're kind of cool to the touch. It's the most beautiful satin gold. Okay, that is the Trafari with the Monet earrings and the brushed gold. And the number on that one is 9... Fifteen three. Okay, we'll go to the next one. And it is a very fun set. These are Monet. These are clips. Whoops. These are Monet, Monet clip-ons. Very nice. Very well made. And they are like a little double rope circle and I paired with those Let's see if you can see that is pretty well and I paired with those this beautiful Monet rectangular super shiny square necklace that is super long I'm looking for the clasp here it is it is a spring ring 
with the Monet symbol signature here. Right there. And it is very nice. Very shiny. It is a doubler. Something that you could double or even triple. It is probably, I would say, 27 inches total. And that's just on the one side, so it's going to fall. That's about a 52, I would say. And like I said, I've never worn it, but it is very, very nice. Okay. That set, and it is a Monet set. Put that over here. The third set I have, I have two of the gold tone, very shiny hoops. These are Monet. Locked in there. And these look 100% okay. There are no scratching. Very nice and shiny. Set those there. And I paired that with this Monet piece. It is a gorgeous green, beautiful emerald tone. Okay, the chain I put it on is a 925 gold tone. And the piece itself, I'm hoping you'll be able to see this. I know I got some shine going on with the lights. We were kind of stormy weather again. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Nah, right there. Oh, I think you can tell. It's very, very pretty. Very, very nice. And like I said, this is paired with a 925 sterling chain, gold over. And the earrings, that comes as a set. And that is number 925-2. And that is just, when I saw this come out of the box, I was just thrilled. This is just too pretty. Alright, the next one we have is, the next one we have is a fabulous, oh I don't even know how to explain this one. This one actually is a Monet. Show you the tag. It is gorgeous. That is the Monet. There's a nice hefty chain, but it's lightweight. You know, it just it's it's a bigger chain. And this comes down, it has two drops on it, and they are lovely silver satin finish with the little encased tube here with filigree work and then it has the little bobble on the end these feel great and I paired with that these Monet satin finish earrings I wish you could see that better there we go nice and silvery satiny and of course these look brand new also and these are Monet's with the clips. And this is one of my favorite sets. You can see the Monet there on the back. There we go. So that is one of my favorite sets. This runs about, like I said, this would be nice to knot. I'm put a knot in it. You could just wear it hanging, just like that. Let me pull it down here. Or you could just put a knot, very simply, because the chain is so nice, flexible. You could knot it. 
try to do an approximate length on this one. Just approximate from the bottom. It's probably about a 36 total. So you'd have a drop of what? 18 on each side. It's just very, very nice. So there's that one. The Monet set with the drop. And the satin earrings. That's 915-4. It's nice and shiny and pretty. These are very nice, very nice sets. Okay, the next pieces that I have. These are a green dome pyramid. These are Eve St. Laurent. This is the back. Come back here. It's trying to run away. Okay. We have the YSL. Let me put it this way. It's easier to see. I looked these up. These are real. Even the backs have the writing on it. Which I thought was pretty cool. So they are the original backs. They are not too big. That's to be, you know, huge on your ear, but they are very, very nice. They feel really good. These are not quite an inch. These are about three quarters of an inch square. They have a little shine to them. They are not scratched. So I paired with this, with these earrings, this little guy here. There is no maker mark on it, but I just thought the mesh and the two little pieces, little lariat style mesh necklace would go great with that. It is. Hangs at about ten and a half. So that's a little over an eighteen inch necklace there that I thought was just darling. No wear whatsoever on it. So there is that. And that is let's see here. The Eve Eve Saint Laurent set. There we go. It doesn't really have a number. Next we have Coro. This set is 915-6. We have a pair of darling, what looks like almost wagon wheels, but they are so pretty. And they are clip backs in excellent shape. Coro is written on the edge there. So we have these two. And I paired them with this Coro necklace, which is gorgeous, fabulous shape. You have the Coro mark here. Lay this out. And it is chucker style, and it is gorgeous, shiny, nothing at all wrong with it. Has a nice extender chain that has a little ball bead at the end. And this I will measure how long it's going to hang from there to there. Okay, it's about a 14 and a half to 15 inch, maybe even 16 with the extender. So that is so pretty. I've, I've actually put this on my neck and I just loved it. Okay, so that is number 915-6. Gorgeous piece of Coro. Oops. Okay. I have a pair of earrings that are just really, really cute. These are number 916. Right here. These earrings are a brand called MAM. M A M. You can find these online. They're made by an artisan. These are just gorgeous. They are made out of a some type of a cardboard paper material. There's the marking right there. 
they have like a resin or epoxy coating with the little jewels. They are fabulous, lightweight, look brand new. On their site there, they have all different colors and styles. There's not a whole lot of them, but they are not inexpensive. These are the MAM, and I paired them with a sweet little necklace. And it is cute. It actually has what I would call emojis. I'm not sure what you would call it. It's an ampersand, and an exclamation mark. There's a heart. There's an and sign, question mark, hashtag, and a star. So I just thought that would be cute to put in with that. It's a triple strand. Probably about a 15 inch. So that is the MAM earrings plus the unbranded necklace. Number 916. Just cute as a button. You could wear these even if you had pierced ears. They're nice and lightweight. Okay, the next thing I have to show is something I did not get to show on the live. Let me get some of this off of here. Okay. This is an Agner piece. A-I-G-N-E-R Tien or Etin whichever you'd like to pronounce it. This has like I said, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to you, I'm sure you can see it, but the glare is something awful. Okay, there we go. There's the mark there. It's got quite a few strands. It's very lightweight. It is not precious metal, but it is lovely. It also has the little hang tag here on, on the little extender. And it's the little gold A. Yeah, you can see that. And it is just cute as a button. You could probably twist it if you wanted to, but it's got all these different, all these different pieces. And it is very, very pretty. So that's the Agner piece. I'm almost thinking back in the day that he did leather. I'm not sure it was him. TNA, Eigner, or a relative of his. <laughs> okay. But they were fabulous leather. I know that. Okay, I have the cutest bracelet ever. Let me simmer this a little more. This is a Lucky Brand little charmer. It has a happy face. It has a beautiful flower. This one is Darling. This has a hummingbird on the back, which I will show, because it is just beautiful. So that's the front, and that's the back. Okay, next to that is a very pretty, you've got the happy face on back. You've got a pretty little daisy on the front, kind of plastic but crystal cut, very sweet. Next to that. You have just a little flower motif, front and back. Then you have the bee, and he hangs from a flower. And the back is even cute. Then next, you have a beautiful design. And then you have another hummingbird on the back, which is gorgeous. And then you have a peace sign. That is really like a little pink Shasta Daisy, a pink and orange. And it is just cuter in a button. You have Lucky Brand right here on the toggle. Let's see if I can get that to come in. Lucky Brand. It hooks. 
very easy to hook and it is just darling sounds good I'll measure it for you real quick It is approximately it's a good eight inches, almost seven and three quarters, almost eight, because that little fly, the fly is giving me troubles. The bee, that is actually a bee, because I see the stripes. It is seven and three quarters, almost eight. So that is our pretty summery Lucky Brand bracelet. And there's no number on that one, just the Lucky Brand bracelet. Just have a few more, not many. We have an Express that I thought would be nice for the summer. So I thought I would get it out. It is super long. It has a beautiful little hunk of rose quartz. Even the chain at the bottom is nice and soft. It's finished. I have a circle here it goes into a Y and it has silver tone with little stations that are very sweet and it goes up and you have your express tag on the back this has obviously never been worn it says express semi-precious and this is a long one like I said I thought this would be so nice for the summer it is, I'll go down to the, it is 18 inches, so it would be 36. It's probably 38 inches total. It's going to drop at about an 18, which will come down. You could double it if you'd like, but this is nice and substantial. Here, and the rest is just light as a feather. So the only weight you'll have is the rose quartz. And it is a very pretty piece. Nice and shiny. So we have that express piece. There's no number on it. But it's pretty. You can tell the tassel is just very, very nice. I always like it when the tassels are finished off like that instead of just raw chains. I think they look better that way. Oh, this is stuck. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay, I have showed this once before and did not really show it like I should have. It's a 1928. It has an extender on it. It is just darling. For the summer, it is perfect. It has a crystal bead there. That's AB. It has a clear bead. That looks AB. And they're alternating. You have the little double strand of metal here with the little stations. It's very, very nice. I think that would be absolutely gorgeous this summer. Even with a t-shirt. This has 1928. And there's a mark there, but you know, I don't know what that is. 1928 is what I'm going to try to show you here. There we go. And I just think that's almost fit for a little princess. It is just gorgeous. And I thought it was just silver, just little silver drops, but it's not. It's the AB little crystals, gray and more clear. Just gorgeous. Lightweight, well made. I like 1928. I like their jewelry. So there is that. Whoops, I'll give it a little measurement here. Let's see about how big this one will be. It is about it's about a 16 inch, and you've got about an inch and a half extender, so you could go up to at least a 17 on this one. So that is the 1928, and I do believe that is the end of this video. I have a couple more planned this week. Um, I really love your comments, so let me know how you think I'm doing as far as content. If you guys are still wanting more videos of jewelry, I am 
going to be working on the GoPro this weekend. I have had to order another little piece for it. Um, you have to have a memory card and some other things. So as soon as I get those um, this weekend, I'll be taking some video. I don't know how much jewelry I'll buy. If I see something I just can't live without, I will. But I'll be going through a couple of um, our little Treasure Mart malls. We have two. There's a beautiful store that's a few miles away. And um, our Goodwills just aren't good enough to um, really go into. There is no jewelry of any kind. But if I, I think I will still go in them and see if they have any crockery, any, you know, bakeware, um, just things like that. And um, I will film, I guess, if I see something that's looking good. I'll let you know when I go there. And um, we'll get that GoPro set up and start moving. Hopefully we'll have some rummy sales. I'm hoping the rain will stop. So that might be something I'll do Saturday morning early. So I hope you girls have a good week. And I will get back with you here soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It's nice to get a thumbs up from you girls and guys. Then um, if you want to ring the bell, you'll be able to see um, what videos are coming up. And it'll tell you ahead of time so that you can plan to watch. Or um, on all your other subscribers, make sure you ring the bell. I was kind of surprised. There was a couple of people I've been watching that I really, really don't want to miss their videos. And I had not hit the bell. So if you girls and guys could hit the bell be um, able to watch videos without missing any. All right, have a great week. Thank you so much. Bye.